Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is GarageBand. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to record your voice and we're going to show you how to edit. We're going to show you how to import some, some music for intro and outro. So basically kind of like an audio podcast. Then after that, we're going to show you how to save it to the desktop in an MP3 format. If you're curious to learn how to do that, let's get into it. Okay, when you first open up GarageBand, this is what you're going to be faced with. And for me, I like to start with an empty project, so that's what I'm going to select. But before I do that, down at the bottom, you can uncheck this details menu item here and have a look at what audio source is the input and what audio source is the output. And for this example, I'm using an Audio-Technica AT2005 USB. And the output is just the system sounds, which will be my speakers. Once you selected that, you can actually double click on the empty project to open up GarageBand. We're going to have this little drop down here. And what you're going to do here is actually make sure the mic is selected and just go ahead and click create. At this point, you can also click on these arrows here to change the input and the output devices as well and other preferences. But since we've already set those, we don't need to. So let's go ahead and create. First thing you're going to do, click the one, two, three to turn it off and the metronome as well. We don't need that. Then you're going to go ahead and click here and turn this to time. That way you can see the duration of the recording. Next, what I like to do is actually right click on this track here that's already here, go down to track header components and add show recording enabled. What this does is add an extra button that allows you to turn off recording or not if you have multiple tracks going. But if we're doing one, you don't necessarily need it, but I like to turn it on. If you need to open and close this library here, you can click on this button. So before we go any further, let's name this track. We're going to double click on this title here and main audio. Okay. Then for me, I go into the voice here and there's only two choices I ever use. One is the narration vocal and the other is the natural vocal. And I usually default to narration. Now what I would do is do a couple test recordings with your mic and, you know, decide which one you like better, which one sounds better with your voice and your microphone and test it with speakers and with headphones too, just in case which one you know accents and makes your voice sound the best basically okay at this point we are ready to record and what we're going to do is go ahead and record a quick little segment here let's go ahead and do that by pushing the record button here hey how's it going folks et here with another tutorial today's tutorial is garage band and the version is <coughs> oh i forgot okay stop stop okay so that's my recording of course, I did some of that stuff on purpose so I can show you how to edit it out. Okay. So what we've done is we've recorded one track. You can move this back and forth in the track here. You can expand that track here by moving it in and moving it out. And let me go ahead and set it up the way I like to do it. After I've set my vocals to the narration or the natural, I close this bin here and I expand the window as big as I need it. And sometimes I'll make this longer or shorter depending on how long I think I'm going to do that recording. Okay, now let's get into the editing. First thing we're going to do is show you the easy stuff. So we're going to bring in the excess at the beginning and bring in the excess at the end. And the way you do that is just like iMovie, you hover your mouse until you get that little bracket shape thing. And then you pull it in to where you want to stop. And from this point, you can move this back to the beginning. Same as at the end here, you can pull it in just a little bit. There you go. So that's simple editing. Next, there's a big space right here. Say you want to get rid of it. What you're going to do is there's a couple options. You can use a keyboard shortcut of Apple key and a T, or you can go to edit and split region at playhead. And you see the Apple key and the T there. Then we're going to move this one over here and do the same thing. This time I'll use the shortcut Apple key and T. Then you can click on that and delete and then move them together. But now you have two separate clips. So if you want to, you can join these by selecting on the first one, hold the shift key down, select the other one, go to edit, and then join regions. And it's gonna tell you I need to do something and you just say create. And what it does is it makes a new clip with those joined together. So pretty handy, yeah? The next thing I wanna do is I believe the cough was right here. Yep, that was it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Apple key or the Command T in front of it. And probably this much too. 
behind it. Then we'll go ahead and delete that. We'll move these in. And uh, the cool thing about joining as well is if you want to leave that much space, you can. Or if you don't, you can put, move it as close as possible. So what you do is just put it at the place you want it. You know, have a quick listen and decide what that natural sound, what sounds naturally best. And from that point, you highlight it by clicking on it. You hold the shift key and click on the other one. Go to edit and go ahead and join. Or you can do the Apple key and the J to join, which is fast. Okay, again, it's going to say I need to do something. You just say yes. Go ahead and create your new file. And now we have the clip as one audio file in the timeline with the extra spacing that we kind of wanted. Okay. At this point, we're doing pretty good here. Now, um, say, for example, I want to increase the audio level. Okay. And decrease in some other areas. There's ways to use keyframes. Similarly to the way you've used in iMovie, if you've watched any of my iMovie tutorials. And what you're going to do is click on this button here that says Show Hide Automation. And if it is selected on volume, which it defaults to, there's a yellow line that goes through. Just click on that yellow line. And from here, you can double click to add keyframes. So, for example, if I wanted to fade in, I'd add another here. Click in here. Then you can pull this down, you know, fade it in just a little bit. If, for example, I, I thought this was too loud right here, I could put two before and two after. Then I could pull down that volume just a little bit. And again, you'd want to listen to it to hear what sounds best, of course. Or in opposite, if this level here is too low, you could do the same thing. Double click to add two before and after and then raise that up to the level that you need. And of course, if all of it's too low, let me undo all this stuff I just did. You can just raise all the volume up to the top and have everything loud. But maybe you want to fade a little bit at the end or something like that. So you could do that. Whoa. Let me add another one. There we go. Or if you wanted to fade in a little bit at the beginning. So that's the way you can kind of customize, get that level exactly the way you want it. And you can just imagine you know, you could put them everywhere and just go up, down, up, down, exactly, you know, where you, where you want them to be. You can totally take out one little point here. And the more you expand it out, the, the more detailed you can get in. You know, if I wanted to just take this piece out right here, let's do that. And you can drag these points to customize it exactly where you want. If you want to keep that that audio there, but you wanted to get rid of that sound. Of course, you could delete that little section and just join them together or, or butt them up against each other. But the customization is there for you to do pretty much whatever you want with the, the volume level of this track itself here. Okay. Once you get to that point, pretty much you're ready. If, if your audio is the way you want it to be, you're ready to actually share it or export it. And what I like to do is actually share to the desktop. So I go share and export song to disk. Then I make sure it's on MP3 or whatever quality I wanted. For an, a podcast, I would go maybe 128. You name it, podcast 24, or whatever, and then hit export. And then GarageBand will export it as an MP3 for you. Now, right now, the track is actually not named. So let's go ahead and save. We'll call this... Um, GB tutorial. Okay. And it saves wherever you like it, but I like to keep it in the GarageBand library there. That was a simple one track recording and editing. Now what I'm going to do is actually move into a multiple track. So we'll kind of make like a podcast. We'll do an intro, a main recording, and then an outro, and we'll fade in and do stuff like that. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it up a bit. Let's go ahead and do a multiple track podcast type recording with intro music, a main recording portion, and outro music. I wanted to start over again to kind of give you the flow of how I would set it up. Again, I'm going to check my microphone here, make sure the right source is selected. Then I'm going to double click on empty project. From here, make sure the microphone is highlighted, then go ahead and click create. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually change this track from voice to narration vocal. And I'll put main 
voice audio. Okay. Then from here, what I'm going to do is actually add two more tracks. I'm going to go ahead and click on this plus sign here. Same thing, leave it at mic. It doesn't matter really. I'll call this intro. Let me add one more. I'm going to go ahead and click create. And we'll call this outro. Okay. So what I'm going to do is rearrange these tracks so it kind of matches how I want it to be. So it'll be intro on the top, main vocal audio in the middle, and then outro at the end. Before I add the intro and the outro, what I'm going to do is actually record my voice. And as usual, don't forget to turn off these silly things here. Before you make your audio recording, make sure you've selected the right track by clicking on it. Then we're going to go ahead and click record. Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is GarageBand for beginners, for audio podcasters. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Peace and aloha. Okay, that should do it. Let's go ahead and stop. Okay, now we have our audio track here. I'm going to go ahead and move it over here a little bit. And next, what I want to do is import my intro and my outro. And I already have these files prepped. What I'm going to do is grab them from my desktop here. And I'm just going to drag them to the timeline and to the track that I want them on. Okay. So we got the intro there. And next, we're going to go ahead and drag the outro to here. At this point, we're going to do all the editing that we need to make it sound like a good podcast or good audio recording. So what I would do is actually fade in this intro, and I'm going to fade out the outro track. So I'm going to select this track here. I'm going to click on the automation button here. And I have it on volume, so what I'm going to do is highlight that line. And I want it to fade in, so I'm going to double click to add a fade in point here. Then I'm going to drag this down so it fades in. Okay. Okay, so for me, what I usually do is kind of line up the end of the audio here with the beginning of the actual recording. So probably right there. And that should be perfect. Next, what I'm going to do is highlight the outro clip here. I'm going to scroll over. Then I'm going to put a couple keyframes by double clicking here and here so I can fade the music out. And of course you're going to listen to it. You can control how abrupt you want the fade in and the fade out to appear. So we'll call it that. And if you want to add a couple more to make it kind of step down a little bit, you can do that as well. So it's all up to you. And one thing I want to do is I've noticed, hypothetically speaking, this example, that the volume that I recorded at is not that great. So what I'm going to do is click on the line here and it'll highlight yellow. Then I'm going to bring the whole volume of the track up. And of course, I'm going to listen to it with speakers or headphones and see how it sounds. And until I get it to a level that I actually like it. And you can do your editing if you need to. If you need to bring this in a little bit here, let's turn that off. If I need to bring that in just a little bit. And maybe at the end, I need to bring that in just a little bit. But I still want the music of that outro track to start exactly where the audio ends. So you can expand the size of this to get it dialed in really closely. That looks pretty good there. And if there's any points within the recording that you actually need to change to edit, you can do the editing that we showed in the earlier part of the tutorial with using the command T or the Apple key T. But you have to make sure the clip selected, of course. And you can take out little points here that you don't want and delete. And you can leave the space here, or you can close up, or again, you can do that. Highlight one, shift, click on the other one, and go into here, and join the regions. Okay, so let me back it back out so you can kind of see what it is. So at this point, we got a really good recording here. And I can turn back the automation here to show and hide. So we have it fading in, playing the music. The audio will start right there. And then it'll, once the main audio finishes, the outro will actually start and then it'll fade out. And again, we can actually move these out depending on where you need them to be. You can do fade in, fade out, increase volume levels, things like that. So basically, this is how I would edit my podcast using GarageBand or any audio recording for that matter. If you have any questions, something was confusing, or you want to see some, some extra stuff here, 
Just put a comment down below and let me know. Okay, and for the last thing we need to do in the tutorial, we're gonna share and export it to disk. I don't use anything else. I go straight to my hard drive. Then after that, I'll worry about uploading it to SoundCloud or dragging it in iTunes. I like complete control of it, so I'm gonna export song to disk here. I'm gonna select MP3. I'm pretty happy with the medium quality format here, but I could bump it up if I want to. I'm definitely gonna rename it. And then pick the location. I usually save it to my desktop or to an external drive. I'm gonna go ahead and hit export. And what GarageBand is gonna do is it's gonna do its magic and it's gonna spit out a nice MP3 for us, which is right here, Podcast 101. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you got something from this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Why not? And we'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial. Peace and aloha.